Thank you, Madam President. Ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, I rise for a short point. You're in order, Senator McCoy. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I, I just wanted to respond. Uh, unfortunately, felt obliged to stand and speak uh, with respect to what Senator Guth uh, raised on the floor of the Senate today. And I was, um, I, I was frankly just a little bit taken aback by some of, some of the things that I heard today, as I know some of my colleagues were as well. I, I just think that it's important that when we have these discussions about um, any topic, but, but particularly the topic of same-sex marriage, that, that we speak truth when we speak on the floor of the Senate. Much of what you heard today on the floor of the Senate is warmed over rhetoric that has been invented by the Christian right extreme groups like the Family Leader and the Iowa Policy Center that have put together st statistics related to health that just simply aren't true. In fact, the Center for Disease Control finds that the leading cause of, of sexual uh, diseases is the heterosexual community where promiscuity and uh, multiple partners have led to uh, rampant uh, disease problems that are impacting society as a whole. I believe that all of us have an obligation uh, that are engaged in sexual activity to teach young people about ways to prevent sexual spread of disease. Um, one of the things that I think that um, is, is most difficult uh, to understand as a, as a person that speaks with young people on a regular basis is, is how to impart into young people that first of all, uh, choosing to be sexually active is a choice and, and when you choose to do that, uh, being smart about it is absolutely essential. I'm talking about their health, but I'm also talking about their life and potentially um, the, consequ <clears throat> the consequences that come from not protecting themselves. And I think that, um, I think that we all have an obligation, all of us as adults, as parents, um, have an obligation to, to, to provide young people with accurate facts, something that the Christian right and the extremists have tried to keep out of our schools, uh, sexual education uh, that would save lives and prevent disease has been banned from our public school system because of ignorance. And while somebody can not choose to be gay, you, can, you certainly can choose not to be ignorant. And what I heard today was ignorant. And, uh, and I know where it came from. And I think that um, I, am, uh, I am not gay by choice. I am not gay by choice, but I choose not to be ignorant. Thank you.